Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if I still sound a little bit croaky, I'm sorry. If you remember from my last vlog, I was getting sick and after the next Halloween party, I was pretty much sick for a whole week afterwards and I completely lost my voice. I am almost 100% now. I don't feel sick anymore, but my voice just hasn't quite made its way back to me. So I'm just going to do my best to get through this video. I hope you guys don't mind. And I have a bunch of new makeup to share with you guys today. I have been really lucky and I've been saving a bunch of PR packages to show you guys some new products that I have picked up plus your girl might have done a little bit of shopping so there is a bunch of new makeup that I am going to try out for the first time today and I'm going to create this makeup look here so I hope you guys enjoy and without further ado let's get into it okay so I've got no makeup on now I've just cleansed and toned my face so I'm going to start off with the Mecca Cosmetica Living Lab of Beauty uh, Lip Delicious. This actually came in the Mecca 20 Birthday Edition Beauty Loop Box Level 3. And if you saw my Instagram, I was actually really lucky. I'm actually a Beauty Loop Level 2 member, but they ran out of Level 2 boxes, so they upgraded me to Level 3 just for this box. So I got the lip balm. This guy is just in the shade Peach Shimmer, so it's this really nice sort of corally kind of color. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of that to my lips just to keep them moisturized while I'm putting on my makeup. Okay, next I'm going to go in with the Maybelline New York Tattoo Brow Gel Tint in the shade Dark Brown. Now, if you saw my vlog a couple of videos back, I did say that I was going to be too chicken to try this one on camera, but I'm going to give it a go. So this is actually a DIY brow tint. You apply it to your brows and then you peel it off and it kind of looks like you've got a brow tattoo. I don't really know how it's going to go. This could completely ruin my entire video if I get it wrong, but I'm going to give it a try. Ooh, let's just rip open the box. Kind of looks like a little mascara. I'll just undo it. Ooh, okay. And it's got this really dark liquid inside. It's almost like a gel. But the instructions say, number one, apply it to your brows, let it dry for at least 20 minutes, and then peel it off. As you can see, I don't really have much in the way of brow hairs. So it is dark, but because I don't have very many actual individual hairs, I have to fill them in every day without fail. Otherwise it just looks a bit random. So hopefully this fills in the gaps for me. Ooh. Oh God. Oh God. Okay. Wow. It's so dark. How much do I need to apply of this? It looks pretty thick on the box. Oh no. Okay, let's do the other one. Okay, I think I'm happy with the shape of my brows and the thickness of them. So now I just have to wait 20 minutes for the gel to dry and then I should be able to peel it off and hopefully I haven't completely messed up my brows. So fingers crossed. Just gonna go on Instagram. My Instagram is just hi Jessica Ann, exactly the same as my YouTube channel if you guys wanna go check it out. Pretty much just post makeup finds, new brunch places, my daily life, OOTDs. There's a whole bunch of stuff on here. So if you guys wanna check out the behind the scenes of my channel, definitely check it out. Let's take a selfie for Insta. <laughs> Okay, a moment of truth. The 20 minutes is up, so now we're gonna try and peel it off. Oops, something's happening. Oh wow, it's so stringy. I'm actually really impressed, it actually worked. Wow. And I chose the right color too, so dark brown was the color for me. Wow, that is so good. I can't believe it actually worked. So happy with that. So next we're going to be using the Fasali Unicorn Essence. This is that sort of pink serum that has gone completely gangbusters on Instagram. So I decided to pick one up from Sephora. You apply to your skin before your moisturizer as a primer. So usually you put on primer after moisturizer. So this will be interesting. So I'm just going to apply a couple of drops to my face. Oh, you see that? It's like actually pink. And kind of glittery too. Mm, it smells like bubble gum. Okay, let's just apply a couple drops. Oh, it's runny and it's cold. Oh, oh, oh. Quick, 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 quick. I'm just 
press that into the skin in my beauty blender. Basically the same way that I've seen people on Instagram do it, so I'm just gonna do that. It really does give a nice sort of glow to the skin. It's slightly shimmery too. And there we go, it makes my skin look really glowy, which is nice, it feels very fresh. I feel very like au naturel at the moment. So I just applied my moisturizer over the top of the Fasali Unicorn Essence. I didn't bother showing the moisturizer on camera because it's an old favorite. It's not really a new product. It's just the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. I've been using this for years. It's great. I love it. Now I'm going to go in with my foundation. So I've actually got the Lancome Taint Idol Ultra Wear Stick. I actually never ever use stick foundations. I don't know why. I just sort of gravitate towards liquid and cream foundations over stick ones. So this will be really interesting. Feels so fancy using Lancome products. So it just looks like this. It kind of reminds me of the Hourglass Girl Lip Stylos. I actually got the Lancome foundation at the Lancome event a couple of weeks ago, which I did vlog. So I'll leave the link down in the description box for you guys. And they matched me to this color, which is Porcelain Beige from memory, yet Porcelain Beige. So it looks like it'll be a good match. So I'm going to apply that guy all over my skin and then blend it in with my new Clarisonic Sonic Foundation Brush, which I also got at the same event because they ran a Lancome and Clarisonic event together. So I'm just going to pop this guy onto my Clarisonic Brush with foundation on. I've heard so many good things about this foundation brush and I did get to demo it at the event as well. So I have really high hopes for it. Some of the hairs are coming out though. It just looks like a normal Clarisonic cleansing brush head except the bristles are brown. Just like a kind of normal foundation brush, I guess. So I'm just gonna take off the cleansing head off my Clarisonic Mia. Twist that guy off and pop this guy on. There we go. So that's what it now looks like. So I'll apply the foundation onto my skin and then let's try out this blending brush. I don't really know how you apply stick foundations. Do you just sort of draw it on? Like zinc? Like a zinc stick? I don't know. I don't know how much to put on. Did that do anything? Can you see anything? Oh, okay. Yep. It looks like a pretty good match so far. Is this using too much? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if this is too much. Just sort of, you know, applying it wherever I feel like it. Whoop. So now that I look like a Gorman print, I am going to turn on my Clarisonic and just buff it in. Oh gosh, that's so fast. Can you guys see that? Can you see it vibrating? Oscillating, actually, is the word. Can you see it oscillating? Look at that. Well, it feels nice. Is it working? Wow, it is working. Oh no, <laughs> it's, le it's leaving hairs on me. No. Okay, not cool. All right, let's try again. It feels really good. It's like a massage for your face, but I feel like on a daily basis, like using a beauty blender is probably faster than this. It is blending it really nicely though, I will say. <laughs> it feels so weird on my nose. I feel like maybe it, the foundation is just a little bit light for me, just a little bit. That could be because I've got my ring light behind the camera, so it's just making it look like it's quite light. Does this have SPF in it? It does have SPF in it, which is why it looks a little bit lighter with this light. That is why, but it is actually not a fault of the foundation. It's quite natural and soft. It just looks like a second skin, which is nice. And I don't see any streaky lines from the Clarisonic brush either, which I did kind of expect because the bristles are so long. For concealer, I'm gonna use the Taint Idol Ultra Wear Camouflage Concealer. This is also from Lancome. This is the partner concealer that goes with the foundation. The team at Lancome kindly gave me this one to try as well. So let's give this guy a go. Apparently it's really high coverage, so you don't need a lot either. Ooh, okay. Start off with a little bit first and apply this sort of under my eyes and anywhere I need a little bit of coverage. We'll say though that the concealer does look darker than the foundation, so. <laughs> yep, that is definitely darker, okay. I'm just gonna go in with my fingers and blend it in to hide my dark circles. Wow, it is really full coverage though. Can you see that? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my cheekies. I am just blending this in with my ring finger with just a patting motion and it is so soft and natural and nice. 
Oh, the finish is so soft and it's still like slightly dewy as well, which for someone who has like combination where I have dry cheeks and then oily T-zone, for me to have this kind of finish to my base is just... So I'm just gonna add a little bit of Illuminator. I've got the Lit From Within Mecca Cosmetica Illuminating Drops. These guys are so pretty. It's like a bronzy rose gold kind of color. Just gonna dot that along my cheekbones just to give it a little something something. Super easy to blend in. I don't see any harsh lines that sometimes you can get from applying like layering different products on top of each other, especially because this is more of a liquid compared to the creamy concealer and foundation. The actual rose gold color didn't really come off too strongly on the skin, but it did give a really fresh looking glow. I really like it. I just, for summertime, I mean, what a look. I feel like I could stop here. But I have more makeup to show you, so I'm gonna keep going. I just went in and set my makeup off camera with the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. This guy isn't new, so I just thought I'd do it off camera. So now I'm gonna be going in with the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. I actually bought this for my Halloween costume flat lay. If you guys haven't seen that, I will link it in the description below. I'm gonna be going in with that yellow shade there underneath my eyes just to highlight and hide away some of those bags. And I just use a body shop blush brush for this. If you've been watching a few of my makeup videos, you know that like I use a blush brush to apply my under eye powder. I just I don't know why, I just I just do. I normally use the Astralis Banana Powder for under my eyes and this is a lot more yellow than that one. That one's a bit paler. Pat that on underneath my eye. There we go, just lighten up the area a little bit. So for my contour, I'm gonna be going in with the same palette and I'm gonna go for uh, nothing that's too dark. Maybe this guy over here, it's more of a gray light brown, kind of like the color of a Milo, if you've ever had Milo before for my Aussie babes. I'm just gonna go in there with this sort of angled brush. It's really dirty, just don't mind that. Maybe this one's a little bit too light. Oh no, 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 there we go. Yeah, that's nice, I like it, okay. Let's keep going. There we go, just a really soft, soft contour. <laughs> A Tenny Zuko. I really like the shade. It's very natural and very soft. It just adds a bit more of a shadow to the contours of my face rather than a really like bronzy, summery kind of look, but I'm digging it. So now I'm gonna be going in with a highlighter. I've got the NYX Strobe of Genius Highlighting Palette. This guy actually came out, oh, I wanna say maybe six months ago, but I only recently bought it for the NYX Halloween flat lay costume, so it is brand new to me. I also recently bought the Zoeva Lux highlighting brush. This guy just has a really nice tapered end like this. Kind of looks like a really, really big eyeshadow blending brush. So I'm gonna go in with that lovely goldy shade. Hello. Okay, NYX, yep, you definitely know how to make a highlighter. This is gorgeous, wow. That glow is blinding. If you can still find this palette in stores, I bought this from Target. I don't know if you can get it from Pricen anymore, so maybe try your luck at Target, but guys. I'm going to apply the Mecca Max Maximum Security Makeup Setting Spray. This guy just came out maybe two months ago when Mecca launched their own Mecca Max range, so. Let's see how it goes. It comes in a huge bottle, but I think you can get a small one as well, but I just figured one get the big one. Just let that guy sink in. But it's given my skin a really nice sort of fresh finish, which I like. Now for something I am super excited about. I told myself I wouldn't get it and then I totally caved and I saw it when I went to the Sephora High Point opening night and I figured, fine. I'll get it. I am talking about the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. I have just seen it all over Instagram. All my blogger friends have it, and I just, I caved. Simple as that, I caved. So let's open her up. Hello. Let's just swatch a couple, shall we? Okay, so this is retrograde. Oh my god. 
<laughs> okay, I did not expect that to happen. Holy wow. And that is like a green to red duochrome. Hello. Let's try Twilight, which is a red to sort of blue. Blue, I guess. Oh my God, I want them all on my face right now. That is so beautiful. Let's go for Cashmere. I reckon this is the color that I'll get the most use out of because it's a really nice sort of silvery brown. Oh, dead. I am dead. I mean, that would be beautiful as a highlight. Uh, let's try one more before we get back into the video. Let's go in with Cosmo, which if you've ever seen The Wizard of Oz, of course you've seen The Wizard of Oz. Uh, it really looks like Dorothy's red slippers. Oh wow, this is really quite chunky glitter. But. Okay, that guy didn't swatch quite as evenly, but I think if you like packed it on, let's get back to the video. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the flat shader brush and the shade Desert Sand, which is this guy here, just as a base. It's nice and soft, I like that so far. Oh no, that battery's gonna die now too! No! Okay, I'll just wait. See you guys in a bit, my battery has to charge. Okay, I just took a short break because my camera battery died, but I am back. So now I'm gonna go in with the rounded brush from Dusty Girls and the shade Musk just to darken up the crease a little bit. Whoa. Oh, that's pretty. They blend so nicely, wow. Now I'm gonna go back in with that flat brush and the shade Cashmere, which is that really beautiful bronzy metallic color that I swatched before. I barely touched the pan. Whoa. Oh. You can tell that I'm gonna be using this shade all the time. This is stunning. Just gonna go back in with that rounded brush and the shade Oud, Oud. This is like a reddish, reddish brown, kind of like the color of dark chocolate. Just gonna darken it up a little bit. These blend like a dream. Okay, I feel like this must be my favorite eyeshadow palette. Now I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D tattoo liner in the shade Mad Max. This is just a brown liquid liner. I also have the black one from Kat Von D, but I just decided to get the brown, which is a bit more natural and nice for every day. And I'm probably gonna do it off camera because I don't know how to, I need like an extra hand for balance. So I'll be back in a sec. Here we go, the eyeliner is done. I really like the way that it turned out. It's a lot softer than wearing black liner, especially in summertime. Like I find that like a winged black liner is really nice in winter, but it can feel a bit too much once in summer. So the very last thing is lipstick. And I have got two new ones here. I have got the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb Lip Gloss. And then I've got the Clinique Clinique Pop lip color in the shade Plum Pop. So I'm gonna be using these guys together. This is actually a mini Clinique lipstick. I ordered a bunch of stuff off Clinique the other day when they had like spend $50 and get five samples with it. And I got this like mini lipstick as one of my samples. It's so cute. Just a really nice everyday kind of darker nude. Ooh, that's really moisturizing actually a lot more pigmented than I thought it was gonna be. Now I'm just gonna go over that with the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb Lip Gloss. This is such a beautiful lip gloss, guys. <laughs> and there we go. So that is it for all of the new makeup that I tried on. I was actually really lucky. The majority of the stuff I really, really like. There wasn't really much that I was on the fence about. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you enjoyed seeing me put this look together. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below with a new makeup product that you have tried recently that you think I should try because I'm always on the lookout for new products. I love trying new things and I think I'm gonna leave it there, guys. So I hope you enjoy this video and I will catch you next time. Bye. Between us just like big defenses You got issues that I won't mention